kids and fa- big families. Like, do you think you could ever live in like one of those Airstream uh, Fuck trailers? Yeah. By myself? Fuck yeah. Because I was recent. I recently went to you know Joshua Tree in one of those, and I was thinking like, really, this is all I really need, and I could take my whole fucking house anywhere I want. And the new ones have like nice wood floors. Yeah. And have and some of them expand out. You know, there's there's been um, you know a lot of uh, people that are moving towards minimalist houses, really small houses. Mm-hmm. Like there's a bunch of them online that show like how certain people live. It's kind of interesting, you know, like one guy figured out a way to have like this little tiny cooking area and he pulls the bed out and the bed comes out of the wall and he lives by himself and he has like some storage up on top, like toilet paper and things along those lines. But it's a tiny, tiny little house and a little kitchen dinette area. And, you know, the idea is that like really why do we have to have this giant fucking footprint of house that we live in? You right. know? And, and this because guy- you're getting paid, bitch. If I want to live in a fucking cell, I'll live in a fucking cell like a monkey. I'm going to live in a fold-up bed like I'm James Bond, like some fucking Puerto Rican that gets a check on the fifth. Go fuck your mother. If you're getting paid, you live in a fucking house. I'm going to live in a micro fucking house with a little kitchen to cook like I got a black guy banging me in the fucking ass. I don't need that. You spread out. Even me, I'm no millionaire. I got a big fucking kitchen, a micro house. What are you fucking people talking about? I just snapped out of it, dog. You can't take me into those deep waters like that. Just fucking the Eureka fucking fucking kill the brother right now a fucking house with a bed upside down no. fuck that shit what I'm to save energy fuck you you get paid you fucking live like a normal person go to trump and say hey wig move into a fucking thing to save energy see if you don't <laughs> bitch slap you if you don't have a russian bitch slapping you in the fucking mouth you're fired about? the fuck are these people micro houses in the fucking desert you play it out to the world ends like a doctor like a doctor, you live your fucking life. You're right. Doomsday. I'm going to put a can of tomato soup under my stairs to wait for the Martians to come. When it's over, it's over. You go out there with your dick on, you take your fucking chances like a man. I'm going to live like I fucking owe $20 to a bookmaker downstairs in my house. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my face. I want to live in one of those, uh, the Airstream ones. Brian's down, Joey's not. I yeah. think we have a real clear line of sand here, people. Shit. It doesn't even feel like you're in one when you're in there. It's, it's, it's pretty legit. Until somebody farts. And you're in four fucking speed feasts of air, and you're like, I paid $10,000 so I can smell your asshole. Get the fuck out of here. Because everything's great in a small space until somebody blows a fucking fart. You ever walk into a bathroom after somebody else shit? It fucking bothers you. Even if they're your mother, you look at them like, you dirty fucking bitch, light a candle. Yeah. Something. Even 